Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Samuel E. Molombe, and I am the man that God uses. I bring you a fresh word today in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. I have a fresh word from the Lord for you. I have an exciting prophetic word. Yes, as you have seen in the title, the Lord says you are succeeding without them and they are full of jealousy. Now they are angry. They are jealous. They are envious of you because although they thought you were going to die, they thought you were going to beg them, but now you are succeeding <laughs> even without them. People who thought they are the ones who are going to, you know, um, 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 be the ones who are going to raise you up from the dunk hills. They thought that they are the ones who are going to give you relevance. You know, there are people like that. Some time ago, I was praying for a lady and she told me that their ex-husband and her mother cursed her to say nothing good will come out of your life. You're not going to settle down. And I was like, the Bible says, who is it that says a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord commands it not? There is somebody that is connected to you. The person knew that as they have walked out of your life, you are going to beg. They knew that the moment they were leaving you, they were leaving you to death. They knew you were not going to thrive. They knew you were not going to excel. But God is saying they are looking from a distance in shock. They are amazed how you are still thriving. They thought by now you would have died. But well, God kept his words to you. God has been faithful. Now they are jealous. They bragged that they would be the ones to carry you to certain places. And you had to dance to their tune. The moment you said no, they left you. And they knew they were just waiting for the news of you crying and begging around the street. But God says he will not let his holy ones suffer decay. The scripture says, since I was born till now I am old, I have never seen a righteous man forsaken. Oh, hallelujah. That is an assurance that we have in Christ Jesus, that we will not be forsaken, no matter what comes our way. We will not be abandoned, no matter what happens to us. The Lord has assured us that his presence will go with us. The Lord says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, irrespective of who leaves you, if God doesn't leave you, their living is inconsequential. It doesn't matter how many people hate you. What matters is who loves you. If a right person loves you, a thousand haters cannot change what God is said to do. Hallelujah. In the book of Job chapter 5 and verse 2, the Bible says jealousy kills the simple. The Lord says that they are killing themselves. They are choking of jealousy. They are almost dying in the places where they are. To see you do the things they say you will never do. <laughs> To see you do the things they said you would never do. Some time ago, we set out to build the church of God. And a rich man, he was a little rich in our community at that time. He came out and said, we are never going to build that. Because he was trying to build kind of like a nightclub in front. And he said, it's going to be weird for a church to be behind the nightclub. So he says, it's not going to work. Well, I sent people to him and I said, tell him that nobody has fought God before and survived it. He said, even if it's going to work out, I don't know where you're ever going to get the money to build that. He was alive and watched us build the church. We entered into the church and we served God in that same building for more than three years before the building became small for us. The people who have said you're not going to travel without them, you'll never get married without them, you'll never see somebody who will treat you as well as they did. People who make those things, those claims, they are people who want to keep you in their grip. And they feel jealous every time they see you thriving without them. The Lord says you are going to continue to bloom like a palm tree plant by, planted by the riverside. The Lord is saying you are, your leaves are going to be spreading greener. The Lord says you are going to bear fruit in season and out of season. And they have nothing else to do than to watch in shock and in shame. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, I declare the hand of God rest on you. In Jesus' mighty name. May God keep you going. May God keep surprising those who have negative expectations of you. I want you to type in the comment section below. Waiting for me to fail is like waiting for God to die. It will never happen. The Lord bless you. Do you receive this word with gladness? Shalom.